How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and today we're going to be talking about Ocugen OCGN. We ended up having a strong day inside the market today. But before we get started, you know I got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just make sure when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So what is the agenda going to be for today? So the first thing that we're going to be going over is the recent press release that they dropped that definitely sent the stock price going downwards. And part of the reasons why I want to go over this press release, I think it's very key to you to understand and to know what this means for the company, especially moving forward. A lot of people are looking at this as a bad thing, and that's a wrong way to look at it, especially if you have high conviction in OCGN as well as Covaxin. Afterwards, we're going to be doing a technical analysis. I want to make sure you guys are prepared for Monday when it comes. There's a lot of things that could be happening with this stock come next week, especially if we get more news over the weekend, and I want to make sure that you're prepared. After that, we're also going to be going on Fintel. We're going to be taking a look at the institutional ownership, taking a look at what institutions have been making some moves recently in regards to showing interest in OCGN. And then after all that is done, I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. And also in the final thoughts section, I'm going to be going over what happened when they did their previous offering. And I think this is very key, especially if you believe in the long-term look for OCGN and also if you're looking for a swing trade opportunity as well. So let's get into those videos. So we're gonna be going over the press release that came out for OCGN and the registered direct offering. So Ocugen Inc. announces $100 million registered direct offering of common stock price at a premium to market. OCGN, a biopharmaceutical company focused on discovering, developing, and commercializing gene therapies to cure blindness diseases and developing a vaccine to save lives from COVID-19, today announced that it has entered into a definitive agreement with healthcare-focused institutional investors for the sale of an aggregate of 10 million shares of its common stock at a purchase price of $10 per share in a registered direct offering. The offering is expected to close on or about April the 27th at 2021 subject to satisfaction of customary closing conditions. H.C. Hainwright & Co. is acting as an exclusive placement agent for the offering. The gross proceeds of the offering are expected to be approximately $100 million prior to deducting placement agent fees and other offering expenses payable by Ocugen. Ocugen intends to use the net proceeds from the offering for general corporate purposes capital expenditures and working capital and general and administrative expenses. If you guys like to read further on this, I'll make sure I will include a link to this press release in the description. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for OCGN that had a strong performance in the market today. So I ended up closing at $9.63, being up 3.66% on the day. When we take a look at the lows, it ranged down to $8.70, which is in the earlier parts of the trading session, and it ended up reaching a high of $13.65, which you can see right over here. So the one thing that we want to take a look at when we look at this chart and we're looking at the three month one hour chart so you're up to date look at this area of resistance we have here right at this $13 level this is part of the reasons why when we were able to get past it we ended up having a very strong move but as you can see from the chart if we had more buying pressure we could have definitely got into the $14 range which is another area of resistance and passing that $14 area you could definitely look forward to seeing a strong move getting close to here around $15 but one thing that we have to notice is the fact that they ended up mentioning that they had an offering. So we ended up having a strong sell off here. So taking a look of where it's at and where it closed at this $9.60 level, take a look. We could see in the past, this was actually an area of resistance as well. So going into next week, I'd want to see for it to actually continue being on a bullish trend is it being above this 960 area. So looking forward to seeing a gap up. If we get some news, then definitely having a gap up going past that $10 range. So the moment we're able to actually get some momentum and get some more steam 
if it gets back to ten dollars the next area that we could see will definitely be around this eleven dollar area and this is what I said to you guys yesterday if it's able to pass this level of resistance around here at 11 and then it will shoot up to 12 again with more buying pressure and then up to 13 this is why I was not surprised by the price action today so taking this into consideration, it's definitely looking good and it's looking prime, but I want to see it being able to hold up this level here at $9.60 going in to next week. And again, this is pending the fact that there's no news. If there is some news, then expect seeing a gap up. In regards to what if, what if now it decides to actually gap down. So what I'd want to see if it ended up gapping down is being able to hold this level right here at around $8.90. By staying above this 21 day EMA line will show us, hey, if this pattern continues to look bullish. If it doesn't, then of course it would break through this particular line and I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up catching here at the 200 day here at $7.36. But again, this is just the worst case scenario here. One thing I wanna show you guys quickly before I close this video, they did an offering back on February the 7th and when they did that offering on February the 7th, it was also closed on the 10th. But take a look at what happened it ended up spiking up to $18 range. So the fact they got into the $18 range after the offering was announced on February the 7th is very interesting. So does that mean that it's gonna be spiking up again if we get some more news? Most definitely. Is this guaranteed to happen? No, it's not. But there is a potential of this stock running up even further. And when they did this offering, it was at $7.65. So considering it was at $7.65, and as you can see from the gap up that it made, and then reaching up to that 18, that is something to really keep on your radar and continue to watch this stock going in for next week because they did an offering at around $10. So, hey, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, like I said previously, but the fact that it was a direct offering and not a public offering, keep this on your watch list. There's still some opportunities in this stock. So we're now on fintel.io and we wanna see what the institutions have been up as of late, especially for today with the run that we ended up seeing in OCGN. So institutional owners is at 69 and as we take a look, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So since we took a look at this yesterday, we can see here very quickly, which we know from the 21st up to the 22nd, institutions are definitely bullish on OCGN. But if we see just for today, for the day of April the 23rd and we have Fidelity who's getting involved in regards to putting it inside their index funds and the fact that we're seeing this and there's other institutions like CDAR as well as HHM Wealth Advisors and Joseph Lucia and Associates this is looking really really good and it's part of the reasons why I'm not surprised that they were able to score that direct offering today hope you guys found this helpful so for my final thoughts for OCGN a direct offering is not bad news don't pay attention to some of these posts that you see on these message boards on stock twits yahoo finance weeble even some on reddit ignore that a direct offering is actually a good thing back in february they did a direct offering for 23 million dollars at seven dollars and 65 cents per share what ended up happening the stock ended up skyrocketing to the 18 dollar range and guess what happened when it did that, yes, of course it did sell off. But like I, got, like I tell you guys on this channel, make sure that you're protecting your profits, especially if you're up a good amount. Now, it's done a direct offering for $100 million at $10 a share. So these are institutions in the healthcare space that are interested in paying $10 for these OCGN shares. And $100 million, it's great that they were able to actually raise as much capital because this will help with the release of Covaxin. So I want you guys to actually think forward looking. Anyone who was looking at this in regards to swing trade opportunities or short-term trade opportunities, and maybe you got caught in that falling knife when the news dropped. Again, this is part of the reasons why I always say protect your profits and don't get greedy. But if you believe in the long-term prospects, things look really good. 
especially since in after hours when it was below $10, that is great because then you were able to get in at a price at some of these institutions who paid $10. You got a deal, you got a discount. I'm pretty sure as this video, I know it's gonna probably be uploaded like later, maybe when the market closes. I know for a fact that the stock is going to be closing above $10 tonight. I know it for a fact. It's not eight o'clock yet, but I'm calling it right now. It's gonna close above 10 because hey, that's what institutions are going to be paying. So what I'm gonna be looking forward in regards to next week, can it go to $20? Of course it can. Can it potentially hit $30? Yes, but this is gonna be pending on the news that we get. This is a speculative play. Anyone who wants to disagree with me, hey, I'm fine with that, but it is. Because they don't end up getting the FDA approval or the emergency use authorization, then what do you think is gonna to happen to the stock? It's gonna plummet. That's the, that's the reality you need to understand. But if it ends up going through, then come Monday, we're gonna be getting a gap up and hey, if it goes to 20, 30, I'm smiling, right? That's what I want to kind of let you guys know. But just know, the last direct offering, it shot up to 18, did a direct offering at 10. It could definitely go back to, let's say about, not even go back, but it can go to 20 very quickly, 25, 30. And the rest is history from there, especially if it passes that resistance area where it was when it touched the $18 range. Like I said, there's a lot of bag holders in this stock, but with a lot of volume and with a lot of demand, it won't even matter. I said that in the previous video that I made yesterday in regards to that $11 range, that $12 range, it's gonna eat up those resistance levels if there's a ton of volume. And that's exactly what we ended up getting today. So that's what I'm actually looking forward to. And you know what, even though I'm not in this stock long-term and I'm really just trying to maximize the opportunity in regards to price action, as far as Covaxin, I must say, we need it. We've seen that it's done very well. It's definitely looking better than the Johnson & Johnson. I think it's called Shield. The fact that we have a 78% efficacy rating and a 100% as far as severe cases in regards to COVID-19, this is huge. And we could definitely benefit from this. So if they want to raise some capital, so hey, they can make sure that there's enough out there to actually address what's going on in the world today, I can't complain about that. So we'll look forward to seeing what happens on Monday. And make sure you guys watch the technical analysis. I want to make sure you guys are prepared when Monday comes, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.